What's up guys, it's Tristan here, and this is how to make a giant hot Cheeto. Alright, so obviously we're going to need hot Cheetos, and we actually need two bags of these. My, uh... Fat ass brother came downstairs last night and um, he ate some, but that's okay. We just need two bags of those. And then the other two ingredients we need are an egg and some cornstarch. And you're also going to need one cup of warm water to mix it together. So if you have a big enough bag, you can put it in the bag and just use like a rolling pin or something to crush up the Cheetos, but I ended up having too much Cheetos and the bag wasn't big enough, so you'll see later on in the video, I just put it in a big bowl. Alright, so as you can see, I've obviously already started to crush them up, and what I had done was I poured the bag into a bigger bowl, and I just got this meat pounder or something and just smashed them. That was the easiest way for me. So when you're done crushing them, it should be kind of like a powder. And remember right here, don't put in one cup of warm water, put in one half cup. That's very crucial. And then next what you want to do is add one half cup of cornstarch. And if you don't have cornstarch, it's okay to use flour. Once you pour in your cornstarch or flour, go ahead and add one egg. Alright, after you mix the egg in, you probably shouldn't eat it because it's a raw egg, but then you want to get a pan and, and some Pam, and then you pour the Pam on the pan, blah, blah, blah. Once you got that done, you can go ahead and pour it on the pan, and it's going to be pretty oily, and it honestly feels like doo-doo. If you've ever grabbed your doo-doo out of the toilet, that's what it feels like. Um, you want to go ahead and make it into the shape of a Cheeto. Um, just think of a giant dingling when you do this, it really helps you out. Once you have it in the shape that you would like to have it in, you can go ahead and put it in the oven. Um, put the oven on 300 and put your timer on for 20 minutes. Now we're going to go ahead and take it out. Um, I would recommend using one of these little black things that I have on my stove because it might burn something if you just put it directly on the stove. Alright, so we finally took it out of the oven. It took about 30 minutes. It's not supposed to look like this because the dumbass cameraman decided to drop it on the grass. I mean, you know, it just looks like patties of shit, but it's okay because it tastes even worse. I'm just kidding. It really doesn't taste that bad. It just tastes like a Cheeto that's a little bit more moist. And the spiciness kind of goes away because of the egg, I think. And just a heads up, don't put one cup of water because this is what happens when you do it. It's just a big moist asshole. You don't want to do that, okay? It's greasy and like, <clears throat> but it's, it's good. I would eat it. You would eat it as a snack for every day? Snack. Say that again. I would eat it as a snack every day. There you go, buddy. I'm ugly and I'm proud. I'm ugly and I'm proud. You're damn right. Obviously, it won't look like this. You won't have little grass clippings because the cameraman <laughs> dropped it. Um, but, I mean, other than that, it doesn't really matter on how it looks, obviously, because I can promise you it tastes really good. I mean, it literally feels like a sponge or, you know, one of those pool noodles. But, like I said, and like the Casper man said, it actually does really taste good. It's not as hot, but if you would like to add some hot, just add some citric acid or something. But thanks for watching.